Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So a few short days ago, we were introduced to a whole new line of Ninja Foodie products that's gonna be coming out really soon. And we saw some really interesting things there, some things that we didn't expect, such as the toaster that they're coming out with, they've got a knife set coming out, a new oven, a new grill, but the product that intrigued me the most is the upgrade to their traditional all-in-one multi-cooking, pressure cooking, air frying unit, but the difference between what we've seen in the past and what we're seeing now is that they are using steam frying instead of just air frying. And that is with the Ninja Foodi 14 in one 8 quart XL pressure cooker steam fryer with the smart lid. So no more dual lids. And we finally got some more information about that particular unit, including how much it's going to cost. So let's go over it. First thing, right off the bat, take a look at that price. $329.99. I, I got to tell y'all, that's pretty steep. That is pretty steep. Um, I didn't think it would be that high. Uh, for me, I thought the ceiling would be like maybe $279 to $299. But $329, we're inching ever so closely to that $400 price range. And man, that just might be enough to, to make a lot of people go, hey, I can't do it. I'm going to tap out. That's way too much money. But if it's not too much money for you, and if you just really want to give it a shot, you can pre-order it right now. We're on the official Ninja Kitchen website. They always prefer that you buy things from them. And um, it'll ship out within 30 to 45 days. They never really give us an exact date for when these things are going to happen. But there you go. Now, traditionally, we've seen different versions of these come out, um, like at Walmart, for example, a, a slightly toned down version from what they sell on the website. Uh, no confirmation that that's going to happen with this unit, but that's what's happened in the past. You get less features for a lower price. So we'll see what happens with that. But for right now, let's just see how this whole thing works. So we got some pictures here. And the first thing that we are going to uh, really take a look at is this smart lid that they have now we know with the pressure cooker air fryer combo that's out right now if you want to pressure cook you have to take the pressure cooking lid put it on lock it on and when you don't want to use it you just take it off and put it somewhere you know it's a little bit of a pain but not too much but with this smart lid you don't have to do that you can use three different uh, functions on this lid and those three functions are going to be pressure cooker when you um, have it all the way to the left it's going to be the pressure cooking mode and when you put it in the middle position number two that's going to be the steam frying mode and then position number three all the way to the right is the air frying mode the one that we know and love so the tagline as to why you would want to steam and, and, and crisp your stuff at the same time, Ninja is saying, hey, no drying out, juicier air frying, faster three layer meals and faster baking. Looking over uh, some of this stuff here, um, I, I do see that they are really starting to emphasize baking more with this cakes and bread, things like that. So they say that it's a superheated steam and rapid cyclonic air work together to unlock juicy, speedy, crispy results. No drying out asterisk at the bottom versus the Ninja Foodi OL601 in dry mode only. I'm not sure what that particular uh, motto is, but they always are running those comparisons against that particular motto. And here are just some of the things that you can make inside of it. Of course, they have to demonstrate the whole chicken because, hey, that's what catches the eyeballs. This is what caught my eyeball in the very beginning when this first started some years back. 25% faster baking. It's like we got some ribs. 14 in one. That is a lot of in ones. And then some of the older stuff. Now, Let's take a look, a closer look at the different functions that we're going to have access to with this control panel. Let's make this a little bit bigger. All right. So like I said, the first position all the way to the left, that's going to be pressure cooking. We got high and low modes. The second position is going to be steam and crisp or steam and bake. What's the difference between those two? Well, if it's anything like any other uh, Ninja product that's come out with a, 
air crisp and, and like a baking mode. It has to do with fan speed. So the baking function, the fan would move slower. And then in the crisping function, the fan will move faster. That's my assumption of how that would work because that's how it works now. Um, and then you move it all the way to the right. And then that's when the majority of functions come out. And they've incorporated pretty much everything that they've ever had inside of a Ninja Foodi uh, unit. And they are putting it all on this mode. So all the way to the right, we have air fry, broil, bake and roast, dehydrate, proof, we'll come back to that, sear and saute, steam, sous vide, slow cook, and yogurt. So we maintain the sous vide function. We maintain the yogurt function, um, even though most people probably won't use those, but it's good that they're here. Proof is for bread baking and it's for, I believe, like holding the dough at a certain level so that it can rise and, and, and get to the point where it needs to be for you to work with it more. So there's a proofing function there. And then here's all little instructions to tell you, um, you know, how everything would work and using the lid and everything. Um, but when it does come to the steam crisp in the steam and bake mode, you're going to have to use water. So you'll have to put the water inside of the pot and then uh, according to whatever recipe that you're going to be doing, and then uh, you put your foods on one of the accessories that they're going to give you. For example, here we've got this uh, two layer cooking basket right here, the dual reversible rack. And then, of course, we have the, the eight quart cooking pot and then we have the uh, cooking crisp basket. So you're going to be so it's kind of like if you're pressure cooking, you put the liquid inside the pot. That's pretty much what you're doing and then that steam is going to be working together with the natural convection mechanisms inside the unit to make your food better crispier on the outside juicier on the inside at least that's what they say what kind of things can you make in the ninja foodie well this is going to be the uh, inspiration guide or the recipe book that comes with this so let's just take a look at some of the some of the features that we have here. So we've already gone over what functions one, two, and three are going to do. And here's something that's interesting here when it comes to steam and crisping. Um, they're saying that frozen or fresh chicken wings and salmon fillets and fresh root vegetables like potatoes and carrots. There's a tip at the bottom that says for frozen foods like breaded chicken nuggets or french fries, use the air fry function for best results. So they're not recommending that you use the steam function for those frozen breaded foods or for french fries. Just stick to what's tried and true. Good old fashioned air frying. I'm sure it'll work all the same, but you know, stick to what you know when it comes to those. And then when it comes to steam and crisp, for your larger cuts of meat, their, their examples are for the turkey and for like the roast beef. They say that it's going to be good for large pieces of meat, tender on the inside and crisp on the outside. All right. And then, of course, we still have our one uh, touch meal functions. You got the layers with that dual rack so you can cook an entire meal inside of this thing. And you don't have to worry about messing up a lot of dishes. That's just what the Ninja Foodie does is what is best at. And the focus on the faster bread making here using steam and crisp and steam and bake. Steam and bake is good for homemade batteries, box cakes, quick breads and turnovers and steam and crisp is good for store bought dough plus proof and cook in one pot. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's take a look at some of these ingredients here. Uh, garlic Parmesan chicken wings. You know, that looks pretty good. And this is what they're gonna be using for the steam crisp function. And you see the very first ingredient that, that they have here is adding a half a cup of water to the pot. Um, and that's even though the chicken wings in this particular recipe are frozen. So of course, you know, they're going to hold more liquid because they're frozen, but you still add water to the pot. It's not just using the steam that will be uh, coming off of those frozen chicken wings. You're still going to be using individual um, metrics of water or stock. It depends on whatever you're making is going to produce steam. Nonetheless, uh, we have the tried and true herb roasted chicken. Um, for this recipe that they are using the steam and crisp function to uh, to do 
And I'll be really curious as to see if you really do get best results when you use steam and crisp as opposed to just using like regular air fry. So I don't know, maybe if I can convince myself to get this thing, I'm still going to have my regular Ninja Foodi. Maybe I can do a side by side comparison doing the exact same thing, just changing up those cooking methods and see what happens. But I'm not going to go over every single recipe that they have here. This just gives you um, an inspiration and not an idea of what you uh, can do. So this is just make a steam and crisp meal with grains, uh, baking a cake using batter and mix-ins, tips to making the perfect dough. I mean, it's all this good stuff. Look at all of these delicious recipes that you can make with this. This has always been like my favorite. This chicken pot pie is always a hit. Let's see, how are they making it this time around? because this takes advantage of multiple functions. So I wanna see if uh, they're gonna be using the steam function on this at all. Um, no, I don't think it's necessary. Well, air fry stove top. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary with this because it was mostly just uh, like sear and saute and then you would pressure cook and then you would broil. So I don't think you would use it for that. But yeah. Um, there's a lot to go off here. And, and the main thing that I want to say about this uh, particular unit is, again, if you're brand new to the Ninja Foodie, brand new to the Ninja Foodie, the pressure cooker, the air frying, the steam frying and all that stuff, let's just say you don't have any anything, you don't have anything and you wanted to get in. This particular unit has so many functions, you can forego some other things that you may have been thinking about getting. Like for example, um, if you wanted to try out sous vide, this does that. So you don't have to go out and buy a separate sous vide cooker, not necessary. Um, you can find a whole bunch of different types of sous vide cookers, but you know, you can expect to spend at least between, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks for one, for uh, one of the least expensive ones. And so with this, you won't even have to worry about that. In some cases, you won't need to use your oven either. Not with all cases, you know, because you still have to fit it within that circular pot. So if you're going to do like pizza or something, of course, you're going to need something else. But when it comes to a lot of things like poultry and fish and, and, and cuts of pork, steak, things like that, things that you will probably normally use an oven to do, or at least sometimes use an oven to do, you won't have to do that because the Ninja Foodie does that stuff for you. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't used my oven in ages, because this does a lot of what I need to do whenever I want to cook inside of the kitchen. And you can also make yogurt in it. And again, baking bread, that's something that the oven usually does, but they're really pushing the whole bread making and cake making aspect of this new Ninja Foodie. So if you're starting out and you want to really get that all in one thing going on, it's going to be worth the investment of $329. And I can say that for a brand new person, because when I bought the first Ninja Foodie, I can tell you it paid for itself in spades. It is absolutely paid for itself time and time and time and time again. So you will get your investment back in your time and your happiness that you're going to get out of this unit. But if you already have this, if you already have one of these, I don't know, man. I think it's going to be like one of those luxury kitchen items. You can get it. You'll, you'll enjoy it. And in time, I'm sure that you won't regret the purchase, but it's just going to be a little bit harder up front to drop that $329 to get it into your house. I don't know. Maybe wait to see what the Walmart version is going to be. If there's going to be a Walmart version and you'll save a little bit of money. But anyway, that is all of um, that's all the information that Ninja has provided publicly about this particular unit. Nothing so far about the new grill, about the toaster. I know people are curious about that toaster, as am I, or um, any of the other uh, products that they announced. But if and when they do, should they do something interesting or unusual, I will make another video to explain uh, to you all about that. And of course, if I pick up this unit, I'll do like I always do, unbox it, show you how it works, do some comparisons, see if it's good or not. All right. So that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Jeremy. Talk to you later.